I'm so pale right now, it's not even funny. Like, it's disgusting. All right, go for it. We good? What's going on, people? So, back on the couch, I'm back in our little kind of office at the gym here. Um, again, just talking to you guys, right? So I kind of like putting a little bit more of myself out there. That way it's not just general videos of me, you know, working out, because I do other stuff. I've got a personality behind the workouts, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, jokes aside though, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more um, about competing. Competing in a bodybuilding competition, whether it's, you know, men's physique, which is what I do uh, with the board shorts, um, bikini, uh, classic physique, bodybuilding itself, like, you know, any of those divisions, there are some things that I kind of wanted to throw out there um, and give you guys kind of some insight if you're thinking about competing, um, you know, you watch competitors or, you know, just kind of interested in that lifestyle. So um, I just kind of wanted to talk about how it affects you, um, what you need to know before you start, um, and basically just keys to be successful if you're gonna be doing this. So, first thing I wanna get into is going to be the physical, okay? So obviously, this is what most people are gonna think of whenever they're competing, is the physical aspects of things, right? You're gonna have to do cardio. You're gonna have to keep training hard. You're going to um, basically have to push it. You're gonna have to basically, you know, bring up your shoulders if you're lacking shoulders. You're gonna have to bring it back. You're gonna have to bring up your hamstrings. You're gonna need to work on the physical aspect of things. And honestly, that is the easiest part, right? The hard parts are the, is the shit that no one talks about. Um, and that's what makes it hard and that's what separates, you know, people who can do this and people that, you know, aren't cut out for that. Um, and you know that's not a knock on anyone there are people who you know if they have a commanding job if they have kids if they have um you know personal problems going on like in you know let's say it's like a relationship or something they can't juggle um you know those other factors with the amount of attention and the um the amount of effort that it takes to be a bodybuilder right um so going into those mental things you're gonna be dead ass tired dude like you are gonna be tired, 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 right? Um, you know, you have to think about your time in the gym, right? Whenever you're training and it's, you know, you're off season, you're lifting for fun, you're in the gym for, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Well, if you're getting ready for a show, guess what? That hour becomes two hours because now you got to do cardio. Um, and that's like bare minimum, you know, like I know some people who go up to two hours of cardio per day, you know, for eight to 10 weeks whenever they're getting ready for a competition. Um, so that's one side, you're, you're tired, you're tired, like you're painfully tired, like legs are heavy, don't want to get out of bed, tired. Um, you know, and then the mental of food. I tell every client of mine and every person that's, you know, interested in competing that there's going to be something that you miss. Um, every prep is about four months, four to five months and there's going to be some shit that you miss, you know, like things that you don't think about are gonna pop up, whether it's someone's birthday, um, it's a graduation, it's a work function, um, you know, a holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, whatever it is, there is always gonna be something that you have to say no to whenever you're in a contest prep. Um, what else? So yeah, I mean, like I said, you're tired, there's a lot of sacrifice in there. Um, so that's kind of the mental aspect of things. And then that's before, like, I guess this is kind of the emotional aspect too, but, you know, there's that mental aspect of food, of food. Like, so many people have a distorted kind of self-image, you know, uh, when it comes to food. They either, um, you know, they want to binge eat or they're afraid to eat something or, you know, um, they're just so caught up in viewing food as good or bad or calculating the macros or the numbers. You get so caught up in that whirlwind where you could have something and it'd be the same macros, but it's not in your plan and you freak out. Um, and a lot of people can't turn that off whenever they're done with their show, right? Um, they can't kind of flip that switch and go back to normal. So once you can't go back to normal, then that goes into that track of, you know, slipping up and maybe binging and then, you know, having that like feeling of, of regrets and guilt and, you know, kind of like self-loathing a little bit and self-sabotaging yourself when the show's over, the diet's over, or even if it's in your diet, it's really, it's really not that deep, you know? Um, 
so that's kind of like the the mental aspect of things in addition to the the physical you know a lot of people think it's just physical only it, it really is 90 percent mental um so with that being said man uh if you're new to this and you're interested in competing like competing is, is so mainstream now which is great it's great for the fitness world um you know it pays my bills competing pays my bills uh coaching all of you guys pays my bills so i love that people are interested i'm thrilled that people want to take a um you know advance their their fitness journey you know and take it to that next level like that's that's awesome um but i would be lying if if i said you know it was easy by any stretch and i'd be lying if i said that it's cut out for everyone and that anyone can do it because to be completely honest like there are a lot of people who cannot hack it they cannot um deal with the diet like they're too hungry they cave they're too tired they can't you know they can't do their regular job uh or their relationship suffers and um you know there, there's a lot of sacrifice that you have to make and there's a lot of things in your life that have to be in check before even thinking about doing a contest prep um so with that being said i'm about to prep um as crazy as that sounds like last year was honestly such a hard year for me um like i started prep in january of last year uh, of 2020 and my original show was going to be in april um, so I was about three months into my prep. It was, it was a good minute, um, you know, to where supplements were changing and the diet was pretty low. The cardio was getting up there and, you know, a lot of the lockdown started happening. Um, you know, and then, so I, I kind of kept prepping cause I was like, oh, it's going to blow over. It's going to blow over. I find a show and, you know, shows kept getting canceled and canceled and canceled. Um, and there's a lot of just outside stressors in my life too. Um, whether it was like, you know, bad relationships, uh, whether it was, you know, like if you guys aren't aware, like my gym had to pick up and move um, during the middle of all this. So, you know, dealing with that um, and, you know, just outside stressors of just, you know, people's negativity, um, not having like a really supportive circle, just stuff like that was, was very wearing. Um, and honestly, like I just felt like this whole, this whole bodybuilding thing really kept me sane. Um, so the only constant in my life at that time was, you know, I'm eating six ounces of chicken and X amount of rice, whatever it is. That was really the only constant that I had. So I kind of like really embraced that. Um, so yeah, um, not to get too, too crazy, but there's a lot of outside stressors in my life and I was still able to do well at my shows right so i uh, ended up doing nationals um at npc universe in november and my goal is just to get in the first call out it really was just to get in the first call out um and honestly like getting in that first call out i felt so accomplished um i had a video somewhere i'll try and find it and then maybe i can like put it over in like the corner or something but like whenever i heard my number i was the last number called in the first call out i remember just being so so excited and um after just getting off stage like I wanted to cry um, like I was I was just so happy because with everything going on to, to still be in that kind of upper echelon of athlete like I was you know that, that's all I could have asked for um, but now it's a new year some things have kind of settled I'm in a much better place mentally physically like financially to where I feel like I can give more of my effort towards this prep because um, honestly I just kind of put it on the back burner whenever we were you know, moving equipment or, um, you know, I was just dealing with personal stuff or I was dealing with financials. Like I, I was just kind of doing the prep. So now I can kind of commit to it, focus on it, um, kind of embrace it a little bit more and move forward from there. So honestly, man, I'm just pumped, um, to give it my all and keep on moving forward. So with that being said, uh, this is our last kind of video before we go and hit a prep series. So, um, I'm really excited to announce that we're gonna start a prep series in the next couple weeks, and I really, I really want to document everything. Um, you know, a lot of times I kind of go ghost and I just kind of do my thing. You know, I'll post on Instagram here and there, but I really want to document everything. Like, I want to show you guys like how fat I am right now. Like, I want to show you guys like I, I'm not like I'm happy with how I look because it's an off season, but like I, I want to be shredded again, right? Like, so I, I usually I'd hide and kind of do whatever with that. But now, like, I want to show you guys, this is my starting point and this is what it takes to be a pro, you know? So I don't want to just show you guys, yeah, here's my workouts. Here's my food. Here's, I want to show you guys like this day sucks, 
this is my cardio. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to get that shit done. Um, I want to show you guys, you know, how, how my body changes. I want to even give you guys insight on the supplements um, and, and all that that it takes to turn pro and kind of really level up and really what it takes to transform your physique. Um, you know, because this transformation I'm going to have over the next, you know, four or five months will be insane. But, you know, I think some people kind of underestimate the amount of work. Uh, and grit and grind and effort that it takes to kind of really level up and transform. So um, I kind of want to show you guys the kind of like the kind of psycho that has to come out for that to happen and the kind of like grit and, and determination that it takes to make that happen. Um, so like I said, that prep series is going to start pretty soon. Um, I talked to my coach Ariel. He said that I will probably um, not do junior nationals because he doesn't think it's going to happen. He thinks it's going to get canceled like it was last year. So the plan is going to be doing NPC Universe. Again, like previously I would have hide. I would have hidden the fact that I'm doing that show. I would hide, you know, I'd just be like, yeah, I'm doing a show here and there and just kind of hop in. Um, but, you know, it's out there. I'm documenting everything. So I might as well just say it. Like I'm going to do NPC Universe. It's July 1st through 3rd or 1st through 4th, something like that. Um, so that's a show I'm hitting. Um, and like I said, like I'm going to show you guys everything. Everything. I'm gonna show you guys my check-ins. I'm gonna show you guys what my coach says. I'm gonna show you guys my workouts, my supplements, my meals, everything. Um, so like strap in and, and let's get ready to ride and let's get ready to roll. Um, you know, this prep series is gonna be called BAM and it's by any means because I'm gonna tell I'm telling you guys right now, like if you wanna do it and, and level up and get the, where the fuck you're trying to go, you gotta, you gotta put in the work and there's always a time for an excuse, but winners find ways to win, and we're gonna do it by any means necessary. So, that's the talking portion of the video done. I appreciate you guys listening and sticking around if you guys have made it this far. Um, but our last workout is gonna be a shoulder day before we start this prep series, so um, we're gonna hit some delts, show you guys what I'm looking like, and then next week, the fun and the games are going to begin. So I will check in with you guys later. It's time to go to work. All right, so about hit some shoulders. Um, first workout that we're going to do is going to be for our rear delt. So I honestly just kind of tried this out for the first time the other day, and I really liked the squeeze and the contraction I was able to get. So on the rear delts, it's one of the most neglected areas of your shoulders that people work. Most people will kind of do presses all day or they will do, um, you know, their side raises till their arms fall off. But that rear delt, the back of your shoulder, is what's going to give you that nice size um, and that kind of round 3D look uh, to your muscles. So if you had big rear delts as well as big other sides of your, you know, areas of your delts, that's what gives your arms that shape and makes you look and appear much bigger. So. What we're gonna do here is we have a row machine, which is normally for your back, but I have the seat down very, very low, and we're using these handles, and I'm gonna focus on pulling here, so it's almost like a face pull. So I'm gonna hit four rounds, 12 reps here, and uh, just focus on the squeeze. The weight's not too heavy, so we're gonna focus on the squeeze, get the rear delts warmed up before we go into a press. Okay, so now that you're warm from our rows of the rear delts, we're gonna go into something a little bit heavier. Um, we're gonna do a Smith Machine shoulder press. So, um, in a previous video, I always say that I do some kind of pressing movement in my shoulder workout. Sometimes it's the machine press, sometimes it's, you know, dumbbell press, but one of my favorites is a Smith Machine press. So, sometimes I go behind the neck, sometimes I go out in front. I wanna focus a little bit more on the front delt today, so we're gonna go just right down um, in front of your head instead of behind. And what we're gonna focus on is keeping the hands pretty close and tight. I don't want you going out too wide because that's gonna put a little bit of impingement on your pec and it's gonna hurt the elbows a little bit. So focus on just being right outside shoulder width and focus on not coming down too low. So we wanna be very injury safe, especially as we're about to go into a prep. Um, so I only go down to about my chin and then I drive back up to my chin and then drive back up. So 
We're gonna go a little bit heavier on this guy. We're gonna go three working sets of 10 reps. Um, if you need some warm up sets to get up to your working weight, that is absolutely fine, but do not count them towards your working sets. So, say you start with like 95 pounds, like a 25 on each side, and you do, you know, 10 to 12, but you know, you can go up the weight a little bit, add the weight, and then don't count those working sets until eight, nine, 10 is pretty difficult, okay? So really push yourself with the weight. Don't weenie out three good working sets. Let's get it. Okay, so we're going from one press to another press. So this one, we're gonna do a machine shoulder press and we're gonna do a little different. So I know you probably see some guy at the gym who does this backwards, I'm that guy. So I don't know why most shoulder presses on machines, I prefer doing them backwards. So what we're gonna do, this is a techno gym shoulder press. Um, we're gonna use a pronated handle you can also use a neutral grip handle on this machine. So we're gonna be pronated and we're gonna have our hands wide. Chest is gonna be on the back pad. And then I kind of tuck my legs behind me a little bit. We're gonna go um, a little bit higher on reps on this one because we went a little bit heavier over on the other machine. So we're gonna hit 15 to 18 reps on this one for three rounds. Let's get it. So you can see I kind of have my feet tucked behind me. I don't have them like, you know, facing this way. That way I can kind of lean on this pad. Then we're just gonna focus on driving straight up, straight down on this one, come down to the ears and then drive up. Go for it. Pump covers off, so you know we're feeling a little juicy now. So, um, we just did our presses, so now I'm gonna go into some fine tune kind of thing. So, I'm gonna focus on the front delts with this next movement. So, I know a lot of gyms won't have this machine. This is a free motion lift. Um, but if you have like a corner cable cross, or um, you can even do it with dumbbells if you are kind of lacking on some equipment. But we're gonna focus on a front raise. What we're gonna do is, since we're on the cable, I'm gonna focus on having a slight lean forward. Whenever we're pulling up, focus on pulling up with your pointer fingers, and you don't wanna to raise too high. And some people raise all the way up here to like, you know, kind of head level. I want you to focus on just coming up here, right to where you're a little bit above even with uh, your shoulder joint, your AC joint there. Um, and focus on the squeeze and then controlling it down. Don't just fire it up and let it drop. Fire it up, let it drop, have it up, almost stop control, back down slow. So again, a little bit higher up, we're gonna hit 15 reps here. Let's get it. Last exercise is gonna be a superset. So we're on a machine side raise here. I'm gonna focus on getting just a lot of reps in. So we're gonna hit our machine side raise and we're gonna superset that with a reverse grip barbell shoulder press. So if you haven't been able to tell, a lot of this workout is gonna be focused on the front delts uh, to be a little bit more complete. So we're gonna hit our side lateral raises, hit the side of the delt and then focus again uh, by just cranking out some reps with that reverse grip uh, press to focus on the front delts and really fire those out before uh, the end of the workout. So we're gonna try and hit 15 reps on both. Again, hitting a lot of reps in this workout today um, to really just focus on pushing as much blood into this muscle as we can um, and staying full and really just kind of forcing growth that way by just pushing as much blood into that muscle as we can. Um, shoulders are a small muscle group, so I usually don't go too, too heavy. Like we hit our heavy press earlier, but in that I focus more on volume for the remainder of the workouts. So that's what we're gonna do. 15 reps on both, we're gonna hit three rounds and that's it for today.
turn around. We're using easy bar here, so I always grab uh, right in front, make sure the elbows stay tucked. And I kinda like the side raise machine because I can kinda know where to put my scaps and my elbows. So I want you here, and strap straight up and overhead. So I want you here, kinda peek your head through the window and back down. Okay, so that is today's workout wrapped up. Um, it was a quickie today, honestly. It was just shoulders, so it doesn't require an insane amount of time in the gym. Um, but you can tell I'm a little bit out of breath, so you know, just keep the intensity up, keep it moving. Um, with all these rep ranges, I always want you kind of shooting very close to failure. So um, a lot of those things where you know the rep range is 15, I want 13, 14, 15 to be pretty freaking hard. So. Um, you know, just focus on keeping that intensity up. Really push yourself in the gym. Um, you'll notice that after a point, like a lot of these workouts are similar. I do a lot of the same movements every single day. So even though the rep range may change, the rest time might change. Um, you know, how I do it may change. You know, versus like the 40 seconds, kind of like we did last week. Um, all those things may change, but the exercise um, selection is all pretty similar. So. Having that consistency in your programming is how you see results. So you don't wanna just go to one thing and then go straight to the next, right? If you're a basketball player, you're not gonna do one free throw, make it and be like, all right, bet, and go to the three-point line. You're gonna go make a free throw, say, cool, now I wanna make two in a row. And if you make two in a row, then be like, all right, now three, now four, now five. Weight training's the same thing. You want to hit an exercise, perfect it, and then maybe move on to something else, right? So. You don't need to have 25 exercises uh, in your piggy bank to kind of work with. You can do just fine with three or four. So with that being said, that's today's workout done. Give it a try. Let me know how you like it. Um, and also just be on the lookout for this prep series. I am super, super excited to share my life with you guys uh, and give you guys that little insight on what it really takes to do what I do. Um, you know, it's not arrogant or cocky or anything, but it's harder than a lot of people think. So to kind of like show you guys that journey and you know give you guys a first look hand look of the struggles you go through the changes you can make and um just overall the whole process and um you know show you guys a kind of behind the curtain look at what actually goes down so uh, i'll be documenting that pretty soon so be on the lookout for the prep series trailer which will come out pretty soon too uh and then we're gonna hit the ground running and prep and try and win that pro card so um, if there is anything you guys want to see in terms of content, in terms of, you know, workouts, in terms of something you want me to dive a little bit deeper into, uh, whether it's just an exercise or a training philosophy or diet, please let me know. Um, and I will get on that. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate your feedback. Um, and I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Until next time, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on IG, David Short Fitness. Um, and apply for coaching, www.teamdsf.com. Apply for coaching, get right, let me help you get ready for the beach, get ready for the stage. Let's get it, I will see you guys next time, peace.